have I got a treat for us today. Today we're going to be looking at why I'm pretending to be Iron Man. No, we're going to be looking at the new hack motion teaching system. I've been using this in some of my lessons recently and it is unbelievable what a great piece of kit it is. So let's get stuck in today's lesson to show how this little gadget can help you become a better golfer. Okay, so what is hack motion? Hack motion is a little sensor and what it does is calculate and measure angles in our wrist in terms of cupping, bowing or extension flexion and hinging throughout the wrist in this manner. Because what we would see, a lot of people, obviously the golf swings happen so quickly and as we take videos, sometimes it's not quite easy to see exactly what's going on. So this allows us to measure and see what a good swing looks like you for you and a bad swing looks like for you. And it is so simple to use. Okay, so to calibrate this thing, it's super simple. You'll see what's going on on the iPad here with me. But basically all you do is lie your wrist into position, hit the button, then put it into the next position, and we've got the hack motion now calibrated. As easy as that. And then from there, what we want to do is actually start using it. But if I just show you now what you'll see on the screen, as I've got my hand like this, and you'll see the little hand start to move as I turn it, what we get we're looking today generally in this lesson about what we'd call flexion and extension so cupping or bowing i'll refer to them as during the lesson and what we'd see is when it's bowed that goes into a minus number and what we'd see when it goes into a cupped number it will be a positive number here that is down at address so what we're going to be looking for is changing what happens in a lot of people's golf swings okay I'll use an example of one of my lessons Dave we were looking at the other day we saw that he was getting into his downswing and he was adding a lot of extension in to his golf swing so what I would do I'm going to hit a shot off here I'm going to chip one and what I'm going to try and purposefully do is get into the point where I saw Dave actually adding a lot of extension and you'll see the data up on the screen so here Oh, that was a good example of it. That was pretty poor golf shot. Right then, so as we can see on that screen there, we've got some positive numbers if we're looking at the flexion and extension. 44 degrees at address at the top 38, so I've lost a little bit of cupping. And then as I came down, I still had some cupping in the lead wrist, so I had some extension. And we all saw what happened. It went quite high. It didn't go the full distance, and it wasn't my best strike there because I've not done what I needed to do. So what it actually starts to do this little device this beautiful little device it measures everything and it gives us some benchmarks so what we can now do and this is what i found really really helpful with dave was that you might hear this in a second sounds a bit like the simpsons we get a chime noise when we actually get into a position of where we want so you're able if i just click on here now to add some feedback so let's go down put this a bit more this way We'll go 16 degrees as a big benchmark because that's totally different. And we'll go five there. Okay. So what I've done now is actually put some feedback on. So as soon as I bow my wrist and get it into this flexed position, you start to hear it. So for a feedback tool and a training tool, it's fantastic. Really, really simple. I know now that I'm not in the position I want to be. Now I am because I can hear the feedback. So for me and Dave, what it was really good to do, I had a feeling for Dave where I wanted him to, when he started his downswing, generally what he would do was almost show his knuckles more up as if he was trying to turn his hand like this down in his downswing. So if you're someone who suffers with trying to hit, well, suffers with hitting the ball quite high and short, this is a great tip for you. What we got Dave to do, make some golf swings even with just his lead hand and feel he was turning his knuckles down to the golf ball. So he was showing the knuckles on his lead hand down towards the golf ball. And what we'll see there now, if I went through a few swings, even a practice swing, as long as you make contact, it actually goes and gives you some numbers. So the same feeling, didn't quite catch that one because I didn't make contact. So same feeling, 
And what we can see there now, I've reduced the amount of cupping or extension I had in my swing at impact and at the top of my golf swing. So just by this little flea back tool and feeling a bit more here and making some slow golf swings, I'm able to actually measure how I want to make my golf swings. Also, another great tool of it is that you can actually start to have a look at some tour data to see what's going on. So we've got all the tour data that you'll see on there. So let's have a look A eight iron. We can see address down to impact where they're going with their actual averages. So top 30 degrees. And all we want to do is try and get somewhere near that. So as I'm looking into my golf swing now, I want to try and feel that I'm going to make a few swings. And as we saw that first golf swing, I think the, the first one was around 38 degrees. As we went up to the top, we want to see that we'd actually get into a good position. So with this, I'm going to make the same swing and feel that I'm actually getting into a good position now, feel that I'm actually starting to change what happens throughout my golf swing. Please go in the hole. Not bad. So there, didn't feel like my best strike, but you heard that chime throughout because now you can hear I'm actually getting my wrist flexed and it's a great tool for feedback. So hack motion is absolutely brilliant for, you know, someone who's looking for a little bit more data and wants something where you can get a little bit of feedback. There are two levels to hack motion in terms of there's a basic level and a pros elite level where you can get more information. There's graphics of when you actually change, but for me, I wouldn't get too bogged down in those. What I think it's great for, with the actual easy calibration, and as you're looking at the screen there, straight away, just by the sounds, you can actually benchmark where you want to be, so you give yourself a little parameter of where you want to get it to, and it allows you to actually make some swings and feel what it is with some real-time feedback to get you into the position you want to be. Because we all know sometimes what we think we're doing might not quite be what we're actually doing. So let's finish off. Let's see if I can make a good golf swing here. And feel, didn't quite get it. So there, that's what I want. Turn it here and then release as I'm going through. Let's make a good golf swing, Matt, and get those little bits that we want. So nice and smooth into position. And that could be straight in the hole. Oh, beautiful shot. Really nice trike and flown the distance I want. And we see there now, I'm actually working towards getting pretty neutral down at impact. So I could benchmark that for myself and actually work towards hitting some shots and always being around that position, knowing that that produces good results for me. So it's a great little tool. We know what it's for, checking out those wrist angles. Does it work? Yes, 100%. I think the feedback tool is absolutely fantastic. And the good thing is it can work on full swing, it can work on pitching, and it even can work on putting. For someone who's quite a wristy putter, I've got a great video coming up with it soon, so do look out for that. So if you get a chance to have a go on one, do have a go on it. If you uh, want to you know, have a look on the website, all the info's down below. Even if it was just to go and get a lesson with someone who actually works with Hack Motion, go and give that a try. It's a fantastic bit of kit and it gives you such simple numbers and actual simple feels for something that can be quite complicated. So I think it's a, a great little piece to look at. Guys, I hope this uh, video has helped you. It's just wanted to showcase something that I've been working with in my teaching recently and found great results. If you have enjoyed it, do hit the like button down below for me. Also, leave me a comment. Is there any other gadgets you'd like me to try out in videos? As always, do remember to hit the subscribe button and hear the chime. Also, thank you to Lakala for letting me come down here and film this week. It's been absolutely fantastic. I've really enjoyed it. Weather's been perfect. Courses are great. Couldn't thank them enough for having me. So stay tuned for plenty more videos to come.